Okay, so now we have to do a few things. We have to first allow the role that we are using to be able to access S3 because now we are going to push up the historical load from AWS S3 into our Redshift database. That's just the historic load for the beginning, for now, to begin with. <coughs> so now, you go to IAM, then you go into the role, find the role, it's this one here, on Redshift, and then what you do is we have to, we have these things that we're going to need in a minute, but what you first have to do is just add a policy here and create a policy just add one here called S3 there we go Amazon full access to S3 so we'll use this one here attach this policy then this appears here and then we're going to need this role ARN. So just copy this into your um, your clipboard. Then now go back into <coughs> Dbeaver, and we have this script here. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to paste this in here. You see all this. First you have to create the role, and then after you can use that role to access the bucket from Redshift. That's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to paste this in here, because that's what we need. In here, this number. And then, um, what else is this? So if I just save that. So the first thing is we connect here and we don't see anything inside the schemas other than the things that are already created um, automatically. So if you put your point this part here to dev the ski, the um, sort of the instance, the cluster, and then here you go to dev public, but actually you just want to make, create a schema. So here, if you're in schemas and then you open this file, you can do create schema and we're going to call our schema DWH. So after you've run that, I've just run it. Then I right click and refresh this. Then I'll get this schema here. So now if I just go into from here into this schema, so I'm using this schema, not the public one anymore. Then in here, I want to create my table. <clears throat> so I'm just going to run this because this is where I'm landing my data from the CSV file. So now I've run that and if I just refresh the tables now, expand them, then I have a table one. And the table one has these columns that have just been created here. And now, what I want to do is import this CSV file. So this CSV file is sitting in my AWS S3 here. Bucket 2, Table 1, Initial Load, and then it's called Table 1 CSV. So, come in here, and then I look at this, bucket 2, table 1, initial load, table 1, CSV. So if I run this, then I should just copy the data in. Load of the table complete, five rows loaded successfully. So now if I just query that table, mm 
I see the five rows. So that is my initial load. So that's where I'm going to stop this video for now. And then the next thing we're going to do after this is create the incremental load. So...